What's up, guys? <laughs> I don't know if you saw the first one, but my computer malfunctioned there. What's up? Coming to you. I want to talk to you about Supergirl number 22 and 23. All right, so first of all, this cover is amazing. I just can't get over it. It's really cool. I like how the eyes kind of flash when you turn it into the line. Just a beautiful cover. Just a beautiful cover. Anyways, um, so... I've been sad about what's going on with Nightwing and Wally West and stuff. Supergirl is bringing hope back to the DC Universe. Um, I, I, I started with Supergirl because I've always been a big fan of Supergirl. Uh, ever since the Justice League Unlimited cartoon. I uh, really love the character. I've always felt, felt like she was more interesting than Superman. Until Tomasi made him amazing. Um, but before that, Supergirl was always more important to me than, than he was and uh you know because she's she's a girl who has the powers of superman and has to live in a world where there already is a superman i just find that way more interesting than superman himself a uh, similar reason why i like billy batson better than superman but anyways so i started pick i picked it up as soon as rebirth hit and i just the, the artwork wasn't wasn't great and the stories were boring um, I just really didn't care for it at all, and uh, I've picked a few up here and there because the cover looked interesting, and I looked in and looked okay, and I've enjoyed a couple of them, but uh, this, uh, these two issues right here, well, first I saw this issue, and she, I, when I saw that there were Green Lanterns, I was like, okay, I'm going to pick that up and see what, see what's what, and then I saw this cover, and I was like, I have to have that, that's beautiful, and, uh, and I also knew that it was coming out of this issue which was uh, the Green Lantern story and these pick up after um, the uh, um, Superman run which is with uh, uh, Ragal Zor I think that's his name and so she's running off through the universe tracking down and trying to find um, find out where he came from who Put him up to killing Krypton, and uh, in this series we find out, or she finds out, that there was a uh, um, one of the uh, guardians of the universe um, in the you know from the Green Lantern Corps. One of them uh, was part and complicit in the destruction of Krypton, and uh, so uh, she's you know fighting the the. Um, Green Lanterns. I love that she has a friendship with uh, um, with Kyle and uh, um, John in there, and you know they're talking about friendship, and she's trying to get them to trust her, but they won't because she's acting crazy. Part of it because she's carrying the, the axe around, which is stupid, <laughs> um, and it's doing all sorts of crazy things on its own accord. So just really fun, really interesting. I love that she's got Krypton with her. Um, and uh, he's he's a great sidekick, I think. And uh, and so yeah, uh, everything about these issues were amazing. The, co um, the cover is good. This is really intriguing. Talking about the Green Lanterns, you know, get out of my way, Green Lanterns. But Krypton will be avenged. And then you know, of course, this cover is amazing. Um, but then the story is really interesting too. You know, we get to see more about um, the Ra Ragal Zor see more of the circle which is apparently the group of people who hired him and uh just really cool stuff and uh oh excuse me. it's really neat to see like that she has a purpose um she's not just flying around aimlessly like she's, she's on a path and i thought that was really cool mogo has a big part to play in issue 23 which was a lot of fun and uh there's some funny moments like um there's a time where Kyle Rayner traps her in a bubble, and then she digs out from underneath. And uh, John Stewart's like, "You left the bottom of your contract open. How long have you been a lantern?" He's like, "Don't, just don't." <laughs> That's too funny. Too funny. Um, the artwork isn't my favorite, but it gets the job done, which is good enough. I mean, John Stewart looks like John. How Kyle Rayner looks like Kyle. Kara looks like Kara. I don't really care for the uh, 
red suit that she's got on. I guess some people are okay with it. It's kind of got a, like a half S on it. Let's see if I can get a really big picture here. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. She's carrying this massive sword too, which is really weird. Um, it's a Rogal's Oars sword. I can't find a good picture. I just have to show up an okay, uh, an iffy one. You kind of see her with the giant axe, and there's a picture of her in the costume. It's all right. It's all right. Um, I think in 22 she has her regular suit, which is awesome. I don't know why she needs a second one, but uh, so I think she puts the red one on as to sneak around or something. Something weird. It's like a nightgown or good, I guess. But you can see, like she's got the the blue. The artwork in in this issue was a little bit worse than issue 23. But I guess since they were trying to get you to buy 23 with the cover, it stepped it up a little bit. But uh, really great. Um, really glad to see some good stories going on. The character development's really well. She's she's treated really well. Um, and it's definitely the character. Like, you haven't lost the character of Kara, who is very kind to her friends and uh, friendly. But she can get really angry if you push her. And, and that's exactly how she's portrayed in these, and I love it. So, just a great, just a great series. I'm, I'm probably gonna pick it up now just to see, see where it goes. I'm really interested. Um, we got some new original villains and stuff, so that's really cool. And um, so yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, have you enjoyed Supergirl? Have you been reading it for a while? Um, are there issues that you like better? Uh, what do you think uh, about what's going on in DC um, and uh, how some of the characters are doing really well and some of them they're killing off uh, and uh, or treating terribly so let me know what you think uh give me a like give me a uh, subscribe get, leave us a comment we'd love to welcome you to the family uh and uh, we will catch you next time peace